So, I want to do a top 15 list with no fancy editing or video clips because I don't even have that type of editing software and stuff, so sorry. So, it's just going to be me talking with no editing in it. And I've been wanting to do a top 15 list of the best Disney Channel shows for a while now. So, I guess now's the time to do it, you know, at 1 in the morning. And I'm wearing two shirts for no reason. You should listen to the Rolling Stones if you haven't before, but that's beside the point. So, now, all the shows on this list are classic because there is nothing good on Disney Channel now. Or Disney XD. Yeah, why did they ever get rid of Toon Disney? I don't, I don't really get that. But, I got my list behind me. And I'm going to read off that. And this is non-scripted, so sorry if I pause or stutter or anything like that. But, you know, yeah. So... Number 15 is so weird. Now, that is a show from 1999, I believe. And I don't think it really lasted that long. And like the title itself, the show was so weird. It's like, I remember it because I was like five years old when I was watching it. Six years old. It was like about this paranormal stuff. There was some really creepy stuff. I remember reading, I think on Wikipedia or something one time about there was going to be a different series finale that it had, like where one of the characters goes to hell and tries to rescue their dad, soul. That would have been awesome. Now, of course, it being Disney, they couldn't exactly do that back then anyways. They might do something like that now, maybe. I don't know. The ballsiest thing Disney has... Uh, done lately was put a lesbian couple on Good Luck Charlie. And I did watch that episode, I'm not gonna lie. Not because of the lesbians, so I could too, but I just wanted to see if they actually would go through with it. And they did it at a rather mature uh aim at it. So that was I was actually it was actually pretty cool. But that's beside the point. So so weird. Number fourteen is now I'm gonna get made fun of for this Especially by people I know in real life at school, but Hannah Montana was not that bad of a show, actually. Now, the songs in it, yeah, they suck. Miley Cyrus, mostly in real life now, yeah, she sucks. But back then, the show was actually fairly decent. My favorite character was probably Rico because he was such a little bastard. It was. He was probably the most hilarious character on there. Hell, even Billy Ray Cyrus had some funny moments on that show. And for the Cyrus family, that was the first and last best thing they did. And, yeah, okay, I'm not gonna lie, by the last season I stopped watching it, but, well, at least I stopped watching it halfway through. I don't remember, I don't remember the se series finale. I didn't watch it. I don't know what happens, I think. She probably came out as Hannah Montana or whatever, but there were some funny episodes, I'm not going to lie. I, I guess it's kind of a guilty pleasure. I did watch it as a kid. I was 10 years old when it came out, and my sister, I think, was really into it, so I don't know. I guess I had no choice but to watch it, but yeah, Hannah Montana. Number 13 is Lizzie McGuire. Now... For most people who do these type of lists when it comes to Disney Channel shows, Lizzie McGuire is usually, like, in the top five, usually. But, to be honest, even now and when I was a little kid, I didn't think it was that great. I don't think it's that great. Now, I remember there, it was kind of preachy with some of the not, not that there's nothing wrong with having morals. Hell, I don't think Disney Channel's having, their shows aren't having a lot of morals now. But... You know, it was like really preachy. There was that Christmas episode with Steven Tyler from Aerosmith for some reason. That's beside the point. That was actually kind of cool. But there was that one section where Lizzie's dreaming and they ask her about the true meaning of Christmas. And it's like, keep Christ in Christmas. I'm like, really? Which is kind of weird. I didn't know Disney was ever really religious like that. But, you know, I don't think that's something you should be shoving down people's throats. But whatever. I can... I'm not going to go all you know, liberal pussy, whatever you want to call it. That's just kind of a nitpicky thing. But Lizzie McGuire, I remember um, there was that one episode where Gordon like goes to, what was it, a high school? And 
Now, I know I'm not really describing the shows themselves or what's the best, because this is my list. And I haven't recently watched these shows. I'm doing these off of memory. So I'm trying to describe what's best about them, my favorite moments and stuff. And if not, at least just like the basic plot or whatever. But, you know, uh, Lizzie McGuire. Oh yeah, there was that weird, her inner thoughts was this cartoon, it was weird. Uh, Max. I remember like that one episode where whenever he fell asleep, a monkey would come in and do his homework and he would actually pass that way. Because let's face it, some monkeys are more smart than a lot of humans. But, you know, that was random. So that was good. Number 12 is uh, Phil the Future. Now, this was actually a really cool show when I was a kid. It's, it doesn't hold up as much as I thought it would. But it's still pretty good. Um, it's, it's it's not like outdated. I mean, it's about time. So how weird would that be? But it like it starts. It's like about a family from what the 25th, 24th century, I believe. They're like you know way ahead of us. And the show was it came out in the early or mid 2000s, I believe. I can't really remember. I think 2004, maybe 2003. But uh. It's like Phil Diffie, their last names were Diffie, His, they get stuck in, you know, the two or the 2000s, and they get stuck here, so they they have to blend in. So, like, Phil and his sister Pim, and Pim, that's a weird name, but she was such a bitch, and we loved her for that. But, that's beside the point. There was, oh god, that reminds me, that weird uh, Halloween special. There was that one girl that Pim hated because she was so nice and preppy, and yeah, I guess that is annoying as well, but uh, there was that one episode where she, I think she was like a robot, or she was making her own robot, something like that. It was pretty cool, but that's the side point. Keely was, started out as Phil's friend, and then later they became boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. The series finale, which I'm not going to lie, the, 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 the title of that episode itself was called Back to the Future, in parentheses says, not the movie. That's kind of funny. But that's beside the point. In the, in the series finale, they actually go back. And there's not a whole lot of episodes. There's only two seasons. And like with half of these shows on this list, they only last like two seasons. 40, 50 something episodes. Something, sometimes 65. It's kind of bullshit if you ask me. But and there's nothing you can really do about it. Especially now, I guess. But, you know. So Phil the Future was pretty cool. And I think there was one where they actually, there was an episode where they meet their grandpa as a teenager at that high school. But I can't remember what all happens there. Oh, the time capsule episode where that note they wrote to themselves was supposed to send them back. But when it flashed back to the mom and the dad when they were dating before kids and everything, they used that as a napkin so they never read it. And that's why they didn't go back to the future right then and there. So, it's pretty cool. Uh... Number 11 is Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. Now, I feel this was very underrated. It did not last long. It lasted from 2004 to 2006, from when I was 8 to 10. Not that that matters, but I said it now, so get over it. So, Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. I remember the first steps of the... Brandy is a bitch, literally. A female dog. She is a female dog. It's about a dog and a rabbit. Bunny, whatever. Same thing. Damn it. Okay, so... A bitch and a, or a rabbit. In the first episode, you see they're on the plane. Brandy is like I think out and about in the cargo, whatever. And she's a she's a rich, spoiled dipshit. So there's that. And, well, I say Whis Mr. Whiskers is more of a dipshit, but uh, because he's a dumbass. But yeah, he's in a cage and he's just like trying to be friendly. He's trying to talk to her, not even hitting on her. Just like wants to talk to somebody. I guess if you were in that situation, you would be too. And she's like she's trying to. It's it was a pretty. He was a pretty gross character. There was some gross stuff in the show. There was that otter. What was his name? Ed or something like that. I don't. I don't know. Like I said, I didn't research this stuff. This is all off of memory. I hope all these shows, at least some of the episodes, are on YouTube. I don't know. They're they were always copyright Nazis, but they're more of it now. It's more heavily enforced. So uh, who knows? Actually, I have been watching That's So Raven episodes on YouTube, but not, not even all the episodes are on here. 
so there's that. But yeah, Brandy and Mr. Whiskers, the I think it had one of the most underrated Christmas episodes ever too. Because I remember around Christmas time back in what was it, 2005, 2006. You know, I think you remember later on if they rerun it. I can't remember. I think yeah, they did. But the Christmas episodes were, you know. Well, now I don't know what I'm talking about. But you should... The Christmas specials on YouTube, look it up. Or if any of the episodes, I guess. The series finale. Again, only two seasons. 65 episodes, I believe. Uh, it's really sad because I think Mr. Whiskers actually like goes to sleep for like the next 50 years. He falls asleep for a long time. You might as well say he's kind of dead. But, you know, what if like... Since that, uh, since that was in 2006... What if in 2056 that show does randomly come back? How weird would that be? It's not going to happen, but how weird would that be? But I'm pretty sure all the actors would be really old or dead, maybe. But oh, speaking of one of the actresses, uh, I think the voice of Brandy is Penny from The Big Bang Theory. I could be wrong, but I don't even like that show because it's stupid. Because it's just making fun of like nerd stereotypes and stuff. And I guess as a nerd, I'm kind of I don't know. I don't care. I don't watch it. I'm an atheist and I don't watch The Big Bang Theory. A lot of people I know that watch are Christians, ironically. That says something. But, 